to to put that into like AI terms, uh, what what the bigger model can do is basically say, I think you just sent me a bunch of nonsense. So when we talk about like hybrid cloud, like where we talk about edge plus cloud, there's a lot of ways that we can utilize the split between the prefill and the decode and how KV cache sharing can be beneficial. And I'll show you kind of a model here of what that looks like. So here's an architecture of, of what LMD can look like here. Uh, the key aspect here is that we have something here called a draft model. I'm not going to go into this too much, but the concept here is that a smaller model is communicating with a larger. And by having the smaller model, it reduces the use on the larger model by upwards of 50, 60 plus percent. Uh, the smaller model is basically making guesses at a prefill on what it thinks the bigger model is going to say. And by doing that, it makes the bigger model have a much smaller scope than what it has to figure out. It's like a cheat sheet is basically being provided to it uh, when it's starting to, to do the analysis. What's nice about this too is that the smaller edge could also have like secure information on it that's specific to this device. It can deduce information off of it without actually having to provide that information to the larger model that's running within the data center, which is running LLMD. On the LLMD side, that could be a DeepSeq 600B model, which is spread between multiple nodes and uh, has multiple like layers of KV cache and RAG and all the things incorporated with it. Do the final analysis, but still 50% less of the compute that it would need without the cheat sheet provided to it by the smaller model at the edge. So it's it's sitting there thinking, okay, I can't give the exact answer because I'm I'm too small for that. But I can give like 70% of the answer. So to put that into like AI terms, uh, what, what the bigger model can do is basically say, I think you just sent me a bunch of nonsense. I'm throwing out what you just told me and I'm just gonna start fresh. Okay. I'm just gonna start fresh. Um, and yes, when we are evaluating this, there's a percentage point that we have to say, is this even useful anymore? Because then you could just have one model do this, do this all the time. Now you're introducing a smaller model, you're introducing latency and other things which are making it more complex. So there is usually a threshold that we're looking for, uh, which we call a speculative hit rate between those two 